here we are in Windsor and um, uh, just enjoying my normal posing spot, talking to people, having a riot. It's good fun, it's a Saturday so there's lots of tourists out. It must be spring, I've got my shorts on. Um, it's quite funny, I was in the calf just now um, and I've, um, this lady kept looking at me rather strangely because Let's face it, I've got a pair of shorts on, I've got legs that look like the, the surface of Mars with all the varicose veins, a really bright orange top on with a hat, and I'm talking to my Apple Watch, and she was giving me some really funny looks, but there you go, you can't, uh, look, as a po look, look at that look there. <laughs> uh, so, you know, don't, you can't blame her really, can you? Yeah, it's a really nice place just to people watch. It's quite fascinating the reaction this, this gets from people and the odd questions you get. It's, uh, it's quite good fun. Uh, it's quite funny because People creep up behind me and they take photographs without me knowing. It's like I'm going to bite them or something. But do you get the polite ones asking whether they can take a photograph? Well, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> most, a lot of people are just too timid to come over and have a chat, or, you know, and sort of look at you and take photographs from a distance. This is good fun. <laughs> it makes me laugh anyway. <laughs> My entertainment. Yeah, look, photograph, but won't get too near. <laughs> yeah, I've had a visit from the police, that's okay. They don't mind, they just, they don't, you know, because I'm not doing anything illegal, because I'm in the middle of the road beyond the white lines. I'm not doing anything wrong, so... Um, the ones that get a bit peed off, people like this who want me to move because they want to come round. Want to move it and get off the phone, buddy? No. And a nice ride home. That's a nice ride that to Windsor and back. It's just, it's a good leg stretcher. And uh, I get to pose, like I say, up the top there. And uh, it gets to excite a lot of people. <laughs> But um, no, I enjoy it, it's a good, run, good little run. It's a nice day today, it's not, um, it's not cold at all. It's definitely shorts weather now. Fantastic. This, uh, strangely, is uh, one of my favorite roads. Um, it runs down beside the the airport and through where all the hotels are. Um, it's a nice flat road and you can get up quite a fair speed if the lights are with you. But today the wind's in the wrong direction and you can smell the aircraft fuel, which is quite strong really because there's the airport there. Look. And uh, that's what we've got to put up with when they put another runway in. And the other good thing about this is uh, it's got bus lanes all the way down, so you can let rip. <laughs> and I usually turn off here and uh, straight down this road through to Hay Station, over Hay Station, and back down to the homeland. Yeah, so Windsor's a nice little run, nice little rig, leg stretcher, and uh, it's pretty good roads actually as well. Except for the clown at Windsor, he thinks he had the right of way to do a roundabout turn behind poor old Queen Victoria. I bet she weren't amused. The strange thing is, um, I've often met police there, and uh, one of the guys there actually knelt down beside me, we had a chat, and he told me that I was making, I was breaking no law by being there. I wasn't causing obstruction, because they're not supposed to use that as a roundabout. Um, so, 
you know, it was only the fact that he had to go round me that uh, he got a little bit upset. So I take no, I take no prisoners with people like that. Though. I mean, it was just pure ignorance, really, just, just to take it upon himself to try and tell him I was in, I was blocking the way when he was the only one in the last what two years I've been sitting there. But there you go. That's car drivers for you. Not all of them, but a very small minority. And that's why cycling. That's why cycling will never be uh, any good in this country until they change the law. You know, it'd be all blue paint and uh, little white lines and look at how much we're spending. But unless you've got the law behind you to protect us cycling, uh, you can just blow it out your ear and uh, talk about it till the cows come home. And nothing will change until the insurance companies force the drivers to having the law against them and it will cost them money. And you'll start to see things change then. But until then, humbug. It's just all pure humbug. First things first, I think she deserves a wash. And I deserve a pee, I'm busting. Oh, that's better. Um, I took a, a leaf from my own book today. Took a little bit of advice that I've been giving other people. Um, uh, now I've started to do longer rides. Um, I noticed that I'm just tweaking the uh, Achilles tendon in my uh, left leg and uh, just pulling it a little bit on the long run. So I took the uh, cleat back, ooh, less than a sixteenth of an inch. It really doesn't need a lot when you when you're altering them because it just that little bit alters the, the actual dimension of the foot and the leg right the way through. Anyway, so I've just done that run to Windsor and back, and uh, fantastic, not even a twinge. So it was just the the cleat movement to get rid of the the stress on the Achilles heel tendon. Fantastic. Okay, let's give her a wash. There you go, sparkling like a new pin.